What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vonte the first back again with another video. You guys already know we do that Jujutsu Kaisen every Friday, every Friday mornings, man. You already know. Last chapter was insane. We seen Kashimo versus Akari. They were duking it out. Akari's arm got blown off because Kashimo used that electricity output thing that they used on Panda earlier. And um Akari grew his arm back, and both us and Kashimo both were thinking, like, is this reverse curse technique? But it actually wasn't. Instead, Akari's just using infinite curse energy that was surging to his body to pretty much compensate for his lack of having the reverse curse thing because he never acquired that ability. So that was interesting. And basically, he got it because of his jackpot from the previous game that he played against uh, Charles in his domain expansion. And it's going to be going on for about four minutes and 11 seconds, which is the length of the song um, that's playing from the rom-com itself. So that's interesting. So we got music in the background as this all is going on. And I've seen some people say uh, they have parallels to like uh, Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal because Sakari did some like little like taunts and moves that he did in that music video. And also I think that Smooth Criminal is like a four minutes and 11 seconds as well or something like that. So that's pretty cool from Gay's part to put that in there. Yeah, I like that, that's cool. But I'm excited to get into this next chapter because I don't know what the fuck going on right now. But all I know is this boy, Hikari's OP as hell. And I can see why Yuta says that when he's on a roll, he could be stronger than me. He, he can beat me. That's why him, Yuta, Gojo, they're all like around the same kind of tier when it comes to like certain, when it comes to certain circumstances, they are like that. They are they. He is him. You feel me? But let's get into this next chapter, chapter 187. You already know, 187, killer, killer. You already know, man. Let's get into this chapter. All right. Because the short hit effect of Hakari's domain is harmless, the curse technique's information is fo forcefully transmitted and, it, and activated quickly. That guy's curse energy became infinite because he hit the jackpot. Yep. The activation speed surpasses even Mahito at Shibuya. Wow. Damn. Wasn't what well, Mahito did was like a point something seconds of a domain expansion, right? Like, I forgot what it was, point something, but was it point one? I forgot, because I remember Gojo did some something similar that Mahito kind of copied that, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> I forgot. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat. I forgot for a little bit, but I think it was something like that, right? The state of his domain directly follows from the last time he expanded it. Okay, so it's basically the same, like, form and size, the domain expansion. Okay. <clears throat> Before Kashimo gave up activating Hollow Wicker Basket, Private Railway Pure Love Train isn't an ST type. It's the probability change loop type. <clears throat> Last time that guy matched the odd number three, he first understood the rules of his restless gambler, okay? Of restless gambler. As he fights Kashimo, Hikari unleashes his continuous domain expansion. Yep. In other words, the next thing on his route to our guaranteed jackpot is interprobability change. Okay. You see all the little characters back there aiming for a dealer repeat. Looks like you're in good shape. Sure I am. How about you? Hmm. So, um, Rinchan is a Najong term, term for when the dealer wins and retains the dealer position for next round. Okay. No shit. You're no longer immortal at the moment, right? Round, immortal, probability change, not immortal, jackpot, round, immortal. We are here. So he thinks that he's not immortal right now because he's doing another game, right? Gambling responsibly or whatever, it's impossible. Fine words, if you can say the same thing. When you die, damn, he smacked him in his face, LOR. God damn, okay, Akari fighting back, boom, they throwing hands. God damn, what is going on here, boy? Keep going. Did he heal himself again? So I guess the infinite curse energy is still applied to him, even though he has the domain up right now, right? Even though it's a whole nother game. That's kind of OP. Pseudo spins can re can reroll a single sequence. Because of the previous activation of pure love train, the, probabil the probability of a jackpot exceeds 20%. It's an extremely high hype preview, okay? Pseudo spins is a situation where it looks like the number has stopped, but it, can act but it actually hasn't. Hmm, okay. Since it normally carries a high risk of being a dud, Hikari usually wouldn't use them outside of probability change mode. They still throwing hands, god damn. This boy's going at it. Keep going. Damn, so he used it again, right? 
I like how it's like he's breaking like glass off, like he's breaking the shield off of him or something like that. That's cool. Reach six six. Okay, so Sayaka Yamaguchi. So we got two. We're waiting on that last one to get that jackpot, right? So we got two right there. Two of the same number. Six. You see the little station um sign right there or the yeah, the spot. Hero, this train won't stop until Shin Yugiruaka. It's the accidentally it's the accidentally the accidentally on the express train reach. As long as the characters make it to Shin Yugiruaka station without anything happening, it'll be a jackpot winning reach action. Okay. And that board broke. So boom boom, it breaks. It is so is that like kind of showing the uh no I don't think it's showing the jackpot, is it? Cause both those boards broke and you see the last one it says uh no burrito. <laughs> no burrito. <laughs> Press the button. Boom. Kashima. Oh, so he's kicking that shit. So they both broke it, I think, right? Oh, then you see, you see, you can see it a little bit. You can see Shin Yudu Waka. So I guess Hikari won this, right? Ooh, I finally made it. Six, six. Yep, exactly. Six. That was, that was kind of crazy. Six, six, six. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? He rolled three sixes, so he got the jackpot, right? And I did see the station right there, too. So boom, they he won. Okay, they're going back down music start wow so hmm so did he that's i'm kind of confused because he already won the last uh the last um against charles the last domain expansion game when he was doing you know all that right and it, we seen that he said it was for four minutes and 11 seconds. The music started playing and all that. He was fighting Kashimo for a little bit. Then he used domain expansion again. And then now he got the jackpot again. So I'm trying to think, why exactly did he do that? Couldn't he have just kept on fighting um, Hikari? I mean, uh, Kashimo with that four minutes and 11 seconds outside? Or did he feel that, okay, since I already got this, I could do the domain expansion again and, and get like another jackpot and another prize? Maybe the time was already going down while he was on his way there or something like that. Or was he just acquiring the jackpot from his previous game or something? I don't know. Let me know down below. Cause I'm kind of confused about that. Like basically why exactly did he use domain expansion when he already had the four minutes, and 11 seconds before only to do it again, to get that four minutes, and 11 seconds again from the next jackpot. Does he just love gambling so much that he just did it again? And he kind of messed up or is he just doing that because his time was already running out? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe just trying to trick uh, Kashimo. I don't know. I really don't know. But you can see the cursed energy um, going surging through his body. It's begun. The four minutes and 11 seconds of invincibility mode after winning the jackpot. With unlimited curse energy, it becomes fully automatic reverse curse technique. But this jackpot matched even numbers. Even if he expands his domain the moment the four minutes and 11 seconds are up, the probability change will have ended. There won't be an immediate jackpot like this one. Okay. Okay, so if he were to do it again, right, if he, if, when the time goes out, he did domain expansion again, he uses it again, his probability won't be that high, so it'll take longer for him to get the jackpot again, which will give Kashimo more of a chance to win. Got it. So if I can get out of this four minutes and 11 seconds, I win. Oh, shit, why did my page refresh? Oh, shit, now I gotta go down. Hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on. Boom, bap, all right, bam. But that's what a small fry would think, Okay. So he said, if I can get out of this in four minutes, 11 seconds, I win. He said, but small fry would think like that. Okay, now he's powering up. Turn up the music and prepare your living funeral. Oh, shit. He told him to turn up the music. God damn, this is his domain. Don't tell him what to do, my boy. In these four minutes and 11 seconds, I will slaughter even an immortal like you. That's a crazy statement to say. To say that you're going to slaughter somebody that's immortal in their own domain expansion. So you in their crib, they're immortal, and you're saying, right, I'm going I'm to slaughter you. And you told him to turn up the music? Car, you better be on time, man, my boy. Cause hell no. And what is this shit? I see mutilated bodies, decapitated heads in this panel. That's a crazy looking panel. I like the shading though. What the fuck going on? Kenjaku? Yes. Did you have fun? Not at all. I really shouldn't should have challenged you back then. Spare me. I'm not in the mood to fight right now. The fuck? interesting this doesn't look like ghetto either i don't think so it looks he looks this is another body that kenjaku got because i don't think that's ghetto nah it's not it's not ghetto but what is this? is this like in the past it looked like it got to be in the past 
I don't know who the old dude is though. I heard about something interesting in Mutsu province. There's someone in the Date domain with the greatest cursed energy output in history. Wow. A true canon. Mutsu, that's quite far. I'm not reading that side notes a little too much in my eyes. I can't see that shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> There's no time left to be cautious. Kenjaku, who is the greatest sorcerer you know? So this guy is old. He's bleeding from the mouth and shit. So he looks like he's sick. Sakuna. That boy said Sakuna. That's, a, that's, that's the strongest one I know, Sakuna. You know what I'm saying? That was 600 years ago. I'm sorry, but it's indisputable. 600 years ago. Sakuna was around a thousand years ago before modern time, correct? I think so. So this is... 400 years ago, which I think I, oh, I think I know, wow, so this is 400, huh, so this is when he does a contract with whoever throughout them times, you know what I'm saying, so I guess he been done these contracts until the Cullen Game event started to get some of these people back, because I know exactly who this is now, is that so, then I'm willing to accept your offer, I knew it, I knew it was Kashimo, I knew it. I'm like, this is old man though, so they're kind of throwing us off. Gege was trying to kind of throwing us off, but that makes sense because that's what he does. He, he creates these contracts with these sorcerers, and then they come back right to the you know Cullen game event. Okay, and I knew from the hair, look kind of he looked kind of like him, right? This way I can challenge Sakuna. Wow, and that's what I was saying. He, I think he kind of has to go against him because he's been asking for him since we got introduced to him briefly. So, but damn, that's gonna mean Hikari might end up losing. But at the same time, though, maybe not because um, maybe it could be a draw. I think a draw would be good. But at the same time, maybe he might not lose because, you know, they were saying, I guess, um, like those people were kind of um, the guy and the, and the lady. They were kind of talking about somebody um, that basically has the greatest cursed energy output in history. And I think they're talking, they're referring to Kashimo. And what we know about cursed energy output, we know that Hikari practically has a lot of cursed energy output too. He's basically, his Omega expansion and him hitting the jackpot makes him like that. So I don't know if that's kind of like just foreshadowing some like two niggas with great, with very great cursed uh, energy outputs or are they just giving it uh, this hype only to Kashimo rather than just Hikari as well. So that kind of makes me a little scared that they, that we've seen this flashback is making it so that they're hyping up just Kashimo, but not Hikari. Even though Hikari is kind of doing the same shit right now, like he's actually at that level. I don't know though, because on four minutes and 11 seconds, once they're up, Kashimo got it. So that's that's going to be interesting. And we know that he, I think he has to go against Sakuna at some point, you know, so we'll see though. Um, or maybe Hikari will win and it'll kind of just show Kashimo that like, I mean, there's a lot of other strong ass curse, I mean, uh, uh, Jujutsu sorcerers. It's not just Sakuna, you know what I'm saying? You've been thirsting to fight him for a long time, but there's other niggas that's really great too. So that might be something too that we might see at the end of this fight, which I would like. I don't like any outcome, to be honest. I like any of them. Just Hikari don't die, and I don't think he will die either. But other than that, all these outcomes from this fight is dope for me. But Kenjaku been doing this thing for a long ass time, man. Can't wait till we learn more about him as well. Like, cause it's just, it's kind of crazy. But old Kashimo look clean too, though. He look clean. Transcending the distance of time, a thirst for battle awakens. Oh shit. I can't wait for the next chapter. That shit gonna be crazy. Boy, oh boy. But let me know down below if there's something in this video that like, whenever I was confused about something, you know, just confirm things for me and whatnot. Um, any predictions for the for the rest of this fight? Who's going to win? What's going to happen for the next chapter or chapters after that? And I hope you guys just have a good one. Please stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay, stay. I'm fucking on my own outro. Please stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay clean. See you guys all in the next video um, on Tuesday? Probably Tuesday. Yeah, so see you guys then. Peace.